Boating is one of the most popular community activities in Gulf County. However, boat owners in Port St. Joe have only been able to use the city's boat ramp as the marina and boat storage facility were both destroyed by Hurricane Michael. As News 13's Madeline Beerster tells us, now plans have come forth to create a new boat storage facility for residents and vacationers. The St. Joe Company recently announced their plans for this new dry storage facility right at the former marina location. This multi-million dollar project will allow for a larger marine crowd to come into the Port St. Joe area. The, the facility is uh, roughly 63,000 square feet, um, holding 252 um, boats of up to 45 foot in length, which is a, uh, which is a great thing for the boating community. In, in Port St. Joe. It'll, it'll give the larger boats the ability to come into town. Not only are city officials happy with this new construction, but so are local residents. I think it would be beneficial to the community as a whole and not just for Port St. Joe and Gulf County. I think surrounding neighborhood cities and areas would definitely benefit from a dry facility storage as well. Port St. Joe locals say the dry storage facility would help simplify getting boats into the water. Oh, it makes it so much easier. If you don't have to back a trailer and deal with the hassle at the boat ramps, it is so nice to be able to have that ability to just have them put it in the water for you and you just hop on your boat and head straight out. I think it would be very helpful. Um, I think it would cut down on a lot of traffic coming in and out with all these big trailers and things. And I just, I think it would be better on the roads and stuff. So I think it would be real beneficial. Construction of the dry boat storage facility will begin this month and is expected to be complete before the end of the year. There is also plans for additional phases of the marina in the future, including wet boat slips, a ship store, and other amenities for boaters. In Port St. Joe, Madeline Beerster, News 13, Panhandle Strong.